What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if Cad Bane will return. So, in other words, is he actually dead? Uh, this was obviously the biggest thing. I don't even think it's a question about the Book of Boba Fett bringing in Cad Bane, who, by the way, I think Cad Bane was awesome in both of those episodes. I think he was probably the best part, and that's even including, and that's just my opinion, Grogu and Luke. While I'm not the biggest fan of his facial appearance, I do understand it, I do get it, and I've kind of moved on with myself. Uh, but I did like him quite a bit and uh, obviously you know being quote unquote killed off by Boba Fett at the proving him wrong by actually proving him right saying I, I knew you were a killer and so what does Boba Fett do he kills him instead of proving him wrong and not killing him it doesn't exactly make sense to me but I don't actually think he's dead I don't um, I'm gonna just kind of say the things that I have seen even everybody kind of this is kind of the the you know Cad Bane is alive you know that this theory group what are the main things that they're saying well really it only comes down to one thing and it's the blinking light light on his chest so this is something I immediately I didn't need the help of the internet I did spot it on my own I think it was done on purpose this this red blinking light was done on purpose um, that you could clearly see it the entire time but then if you watch it back it's very interesting how that blinking light actually works so nothing is actually activated on his chest on his little dashboard there until he gets stabbed once he gets stabbed that light goes on now I know some people have said maybe it's like Toto calling him from his ship something like that I mean it could be but actually what I've seen other people say is maybe it's a dual meaning where it could be something that has to do with like oxygen or something that basically tries to protect him from his wound slash also sends a a relay message to you know whoever can hear it in this case it'd obviously be his little companion droid and uh, and then he would be picked up and he would be saved i think that makes a lot of sense i know a lot of people said that his oxygen tubes on his face that's only used in outer space so again like that blinking light could have been something it could just be something built into his suit where it basically uh, you know protects him from death it kind of slows down the death process and again it does not start blinking until he gets stabbed so while I guess it could just be some sort of really dark sad thing where like Toto's calling him and it's like it just but like he just happened to call at the exact second that he got stabbed it just seems weird to me that they would line it up that way so in my opinion the blinking red I, I will I think it probably means at the very least that's his like vitals that's his vital level so considering it's blinking red obviously that means bad that means like he's in danger but it doesn't mean that I don't I don't think I don't think it means that he's actually dead otherwise maybe it would be a different color or it would stop blinking and that's another thing is yes he stops moving and they linger on his you know body kind of laying there but the entire time that that shot is on him the light's still blinking until the camera, you know, it just switches scenes entirely. So you never see one moment when the camera is on him that he's laying there and then the lights stop. That never once happens. So I guess even just to from a, um, I like just a bringing him back perspective from the possibilities that you could have with him in the future. It does to me. It doesn't make. Like, I'd be very upset, very mad. I know there are other lines of thinking about this. I to, I totally uh, get it. But to me, I just think it'd be a real dumb move. And it, but it would be a Disney Star Wars move, I guess, in my opinion, to bring a character that well liked that's had that kind of legacy to them to then, you know, do some pretty okay stuff with them. It's not like he did, like, nothing. It's not like he wasn't cool. It's not like he didn't go out in, like, a semi... Like, you know, that, that was believable, I think, what, what happened there. Uh, so, you know, they did do stuff with him, but I just think there's a lot more you could do with him, and he's kind of... I was telling this to other people. He's kind of just this character that you don't ever assume dies. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't kill him on screen he reminds me a lot of somebody like maybe an ahsoka or even if you want to go villain kind of like a ventress now ventress i believe was killed right in like a uh, a canon kind of comic but it, does disney a even recognize it but b i honestly feel like disney would never if, they, if that didn't happen to ventress disney would never do that to ventress or like if they kept doing like the clone wars let's say even before disney bought them i don't think you would ever see ventress die she's just one of those characters that has that likability about her that also just has 
character moments and that is so versatile you can use her and so which is what cad bane is right you can use him in a lot of different ways used him in the bad batch obviously used him in the clone wars and rosario dawson literally tweeted after the first episode that he was in saying that she hopes to work with him which makes sense because i think cad bane and ahsoka would run into each other and i actually think that would be kind of awesome to see in live action so i just don't how do you how do you tweet that now they haven't started filming yet so maybe she didn't know about the book of boba fett killing him off that's definitely possible but i just feel like there's more you can do with him i just think an episode and a half of having you know one of these most legendary characters uh, i guess even more legendary when it's just you know animated up until this point right you bring them in and then you just kill him after an episode and a half to me it doesn't make sense so to me it's like a kingpin thing um you don't have the backing of like the comics to back you up here right it leaves it more ambiguous but maybe it's kind of supposed to be like uh the original idea of the clone wars right because they each shoot each other and you know boba fett's gonna make it because of the helmet symbolism and because obviously you know uh you know the the the, the normal uh four through six movies right so you know he's gonna be in them but cad bane his fate was purposely left ambiguous in that cut you know episode that never aired right so maybe it's supposed to be like that they can't do it the exact same way so they're not gonna have him be shot but they're gonna leave his death ambiguous maybe he's dead maybe he's not although i do think that will get answered either in mandalorian season three or ahsoka i assume one of those two shows cad bane would show up and that's how we would know that he he made it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel i do want to make another video on luke it's going to be a lot more controversial so hopefully you guys uh, check that out in the coming days if you want to follow me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below along with our patreon and youtube memberships thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video